Uh, and uh, our next speech, uh, speaker for this session is for, uh, Dr. Nigat Parveen. Dr. Nigat Parveen received her PhD degree from United Arab Emirates University, UAE. She is working on livestock ticks in the UAE, their prevalence, distribution, population dynamics, and associated microorganisms. Dr. Parveen is the first PhD graduate from UAE with research on tick parasites and published her research work in several peer review journals. Her research interests are biology and ecology of ticks, tick-borne diseases, and taxonomy of arachnids, microbiology communities, composition in ticks, host parasite interaction and ecosystem and viruses, ecology, and evolution. Today, she is going to present living with tick parasites in the MENA region. Dear Dr. Praveen, you can please share uh, your screen and start the presentation. Hi everyone, this is Nikit Praveen. Today I'm going to discuss with uh, discuss about living with parasites in the MENA region and one health approach. Uh, ticks are ectoparasites of domestic animals, wildlife, humans, and tick bone pathogens are a uh, continued threat to biodiversity, uh, food security, and animal and human health in the Middle East and North, North Africa region. Livestock farming has an important contribution in the economy of uh, the countries uh, in the MENA region. Uh, we have documented uh, 55 tick species uh, in, in, from livestock, camels, cows, sheep, and goats. And 15 tick bone pathogens have been recorded that um, uh, cause diseases to humans and animals. Tick microbiome diversity and interaction between pathogens and endosymbionts play important, important role in the vector competence and pathogen transmission. Uh, estimating the circulation of tick bone pathogen and at wildlife livestock interface and their possible transmission to human population is very important. However, few studies has, uh, have been conducted on tick microbiome in the MENA region, including uh, Palestine, Saudi Arabia, only two, and UAE, uh, three. Uh, all these three studies uh, have been conducted by us, and these are published. And in all, uh, almost all studies, bacterial genera, Francisella, Acinetobacter, Escherichia, Staphylococcus, Pseudomonas, Crinium bacterium, and Bacillus were found uh, with uh, were the prevalent uh, prevalent bacterial genera. Now I will move to what the status of uh, ticks and tick bone pathogens in in the UAE. In UAE, uh, we collected the sample only per, uh, from three amulets. However, our plan was um, uh, to collect the sample from all over UAE, but due to COVID-19, we were restricted uh, uh, to do something. So uh, uh, we collected sample uh, green uh, triangle. Uh, triangles show the cam uh, camel sampling locations red livestock sampling locations and uh, yellow uh, square uh, show, uh, shows the population dynamic studies. We conducted uh, the first population dynamic studies uh, on ticks in QE. Our main study area uh, means um, uh, study area was of two types, open desert and livestock markets. We collected the ticks from uh, different hosts, camel, cow, sheep, goats. And uh, this slide shows the infestation uh, on the host, uh, especially in upper two uh, figures shows, uh, upper two figures show uh, camel are infested with ticks and down one uh, with cow, uh, on cows. Uh, we performed morphological identification uh, by using the Walker keys. 
For molecular identification, first step was um, uh, washing, then DNA extraction, and uh, its quality check. Uh, for identification, uh, we conducted PCR by using the primer 16S and COX-1. Uh, after that, uh, the uh, Sanger sequencing uh, was done, and then uh, after statistical analysis, uh, we calculated the prevalence, mean intensity, and mean abundance. Uh, but for bacterial communities, uh, composition study uh, and um, calculating its diversity, we collected the uh, ticks from camels and then uh, after sorting and labeling, uh, tick, uh, ticks were identified. Uh, after identification, ticks were subjected to DNA extraction and then next uh, we sent the samples to Macrogen Korea for a next generation sequencing. After bioinformatic analysis, we perform the statistical analysis. For pathogen detection, uh, ticks were collected from uh, all four hosts I have already discussed, and then after washing protocol, uh, DNA extraction, then quality check, and Sanger, Sanger sequencing, uh, we identified four species, uh, Francisella, Rickettsia, uh, Thaleria annulata, and Thaleria ovis. In population dynamic studies, uh, uh, we noticed the peak of takes on camels uh, in June in the month of June. And uh, the minimum uh, prevalence was seen uh, in the month of November. And uh, there was no um, uh, correlation, um, uh, significant correlation was found between the uh, uh, tick sampling, uh, means uh, uh, tick population and the uh, temperature and humidity. And overall prevalence was 94%. In population dynamic study, there was one interesting aspect, even in, in all of my collection, uh, what happened, actually I collected, uh, I could collect only, <coughs> sorry, collect only the adult males and females uh, along with nymph. I could not, uh, could not find even a single larvae in my collection. So I was about, curious about to see the larvae. So I brought um, uh, fully fed females in my lab and I kept it, uh, they laid egg and after egg, uh, the larvae hatched. And these green circles show the collection from uh, field. So <clears throat> we assume that um, accept these, uh, basically this is the life cycle of camel tick. We, we assume that there is an other host, uh, means uh, this hyaloma dromedary is either two host, has two host life cycle or three host life cycle. For uh, tick microbiome studies, uh, we actually compared the microbiome between two time periods, 2019 and 2010. Actually, in 2010, uh, um, our lab was uh, working on uh, ticks. Uh, so I found uh, ticks in the freezer in minus city. So, uh, so we thought that we should compare the tick microbiome between room time periods. So what we found that um, Francis Alla was the most abundant uh, genus uh, in 2019 sa samples. However, in 2010 uh, sample, assinative vector Corini bacterium and Proteus uh, were the uh, abundant genera. In tick one pathogen study, uh, we uh, detected uh, four microorganisms, as uh, I have already discussed in Mactology. And in Abu Dhabi, Hyloma dromedary collected from uh, camels contained Francisella species 5.81% uh, and Trichetsia 1.36%. In Sharjah, uh, the Hyloma anatolicum uh, collected from cows were found positive with Thaleria annulata and uh, goats were positive with Thaleria ovis. We detected first time Thaleria ovis uh, from UE. Uh, 
emergence and re-emergence of tick bone and uh, diseases and fun health approach. To better understand the risk of emergence and, and re-emergence of tick bone diseases, uh, it needs interdisciplinary research approach that includes investigation of ecological determinants, deploying molecular tools using genetics and genomic approaches, and continuous monitoring and surveillance methodology for ticks and tick bone microbes is very important. So, uh, uh, for example, this, uh, this uh, especially uh, ticks and tick bone pathogens and gut health approach is the uh, current project uh, um, I'm gonna, I will be working on uh, for my postdoc. So, uh, in this project, uh, we adopted an interdisciplinary approach. We will work with parasitology, entomology, bacteriology, virology, ecology, molecular biology, and uh, veterinary, veterinary medicine. And uh, we will uh, consider the um, health of animal, humans, livestock. We will consider also biodiversity conservation environment. And ultimate goal is the tick management and tick bone pathogen diseases management. To better understand, the, again, the risk of emergence and re-emergence of tick bone diseases, there is need to continue research uh, on ticks and tick microbiome, uh, microbes, and uh, environmental friendly control measures to pre uh, prevent the diseases transmission from ticks to animals and humans through one health approach, and evidence for uh, improving tick management and mitigation strategies. And actually, the last three slides uh, were from my current project. My current project uh, for my postdoc is ticks and tick bone pathogens in UAE and one health approach. And uh, in this project, my chief mentor uh, is uh, Professor Arpuli, and uh, co-mentor is Professor Sabir bin Musaffar. He also served as a co-advisor uh, during my PhD, and uh, Professor Olivier Paragano, uh, City University, Hong Kong. And this is me. Thank you, everyone. Thank you very much.